but this um, video is going to show you how you can do a consultation. So you're onto your consultation page, if you double click that'll make that patient active. You could have a look at their record before you begin by looking at consultations. On the day that you're due to see, if you right clicked on them, underneath here, in between these two bits would be start call. That's not there because this is a future data diary entry. You can do right click and set see now, or the way I would do it is press S and then that will bring up the consultation. Again, because it's a future data diary, so I'm not able to do that. But I will show you what it would be when you press the button. So if you go into consultations and click add, that's the other way around you can do it. But this would automatically come up if you'd pressed S or start consultation on your diary on the day. And then that is what you'll be um, see, showing with. So you can have a problem, history, examination and comment. I'd recommend that you click history, examination and comment in order because EMIS is quite annoying where you can't change the order of these boxes. So if you start writing something in comment and then want to click on history after, you can't ever put history above it. Um, so I normally just start my consultation by clicking those buttons and then I can fill it in as I go. And you can free text, so has a rash for one week, for example. You can also put things into an examination. So you have this little um, lightning bolt here and this is for some of the recoded stuff. So you could add a blood pressure height, weight and all that. You can also write the word BP and it would bring up the blood pressure box that you could recode it for. And we need to be trying recoding our blood pressures as much as possible so that they show up on the um, trend and for cough points. So for example, if I add this on, it also tells you the previous entry, which is quite handy. That will recode that, there we go. And if I wanted to see the trend of that blood pressure, I could go to investigations um, and you could have a look at the previous entries there once you've saved the record. You can also put your comment in here. So for example, this is EXA. It would then bring up some recodes. So you can write eczema, um, try cream, and come back as needed. You could then prescribe a medication, which will bring up this box here. And then you can see my separate um, video on how to issue medications. Um, but this is the kind of basic part of how to do a consultation. If they had more than one problem, um, you can click next problem and then you could say, um, you know, whatever it is on the next thing. And then what I'll do is I'll just show you, for example, if I then want to write comment and then examination, you can see what I mean. They come in different order and you can't ever seem to move that one below. The only way you can do it is to cross it off and then put them back in the right order. Just an annoying feature, unfortunately, on EMIS. In consultations, there are some quick codes that you can use. Um, there are some ones that are set up as standard on um, our WUFOP EMIS system, and there are ones that you can make yourself. So, for example, if I want to say I've spoken to the patient, I have set up that if I type S2P and click Enter, it automatically puts some text in. So there are some um, ones for everyone, and then there's ones that I've added in myself. It's worth having a chat with your trainer about which ones you, they would be useful to have on and to have a look and see exactly which ones the woof up um, quick notes are already. If you click save on the consultation, you'll then see it goes into the entry there. Um, if you're ever adding a medication, it's always good to do it as part of a consultation, whether that's in, in the consultation itself or if you're adding on just as an admin note because then it's really easy to see who did it, when they did it, and why. Say, for example, you've got a letter coming in from a hostel consultant to start aspirin. Try and always add it as an admin note. Add the medication on whatever it is we're doing. This is our um, Optimize, which is our kind of help with prescribing. So it's telling me here, you know, trying different types of NSAIDs. I'm just literally doing this as an example to you. Um, and 
we'll say issue later because I don't want to print this prescription out. But you'll see that that then goes on to the, the consultation records. I say down the line you want to try and find out when and why this gentleman will start on aspirin. It's dead easy to see it because it appears on there. If you just issue medication off the consultation, um, you don't appear on this list. It only appears on the medicine screen. Um, but that's a quick overview of how to add a consultation on.